Hi everyone. In this video, I will focus on like how we can actually sometimes have a PDF file and try actually to create uh, a 3D model within the, the Revit and in just a couple of minutes. And we might actually have some, even some discussion care about, you know, how we can make it. So firstly, it's really important to know that uh, you actually can have an access to the revert okay so you can actually download the free trial or even if you still actually an educator you can actually have the education licenses so it's actually free just you know type after the script and after that okay you will find this link you might be asked to actually to create a free account but after that actually you will be able to do it so uh today i'll try actually to add this actually plan Okay, to the to the revert. Okay, and start actually see how we can go from PDF file to uh, the 3D model. So if you jump here, uh, this is actually the, the revert. Uh, you know, interface. Obviously, you will not see those projects. Okay, it will be empty. But what you need to do, you need easily to jump to the new, and actually you will find different templates. Uh, I do prefer actually for this to go to the architecture template. Okay and just open it uh since we want actually to add the the pdf to the side so i would go prefer downstairs to uh, when you have the floor plans to the side uh, in case you cannot actually see those options just make sure that when you go to the view okay and go to the user interface to make sure that the project browser and properties okay both actually are you know open however uh, back here, uh, again, don't worry, uh, I'm just focusing in this video how we can go from PDF to 3D model. So don't worry about all the other options. Just what you need to do right now, go to the insert and go to the import PDF file. Once you click on this one, okay, you need to go to the file that you actually are interested in. The, after that, Revit, okay, will give you an option to see all the files there. And you can select actually what uh, page that you're interested, you know, to actually to model it. I will state it like this. So this is actually the side. So once you have done this, okay, before actually we start the modeling, it's important actually to make sure that, you know, I mean, what about the scale for this drawing? Just, you know, to make it, you know, align with what we have. So usually uh, in uh, like, uh, if you click in UN, just type it, okay, you'll see that the units. Uh, so the units that I have here actually is a millimeter. So what I need to do, so for example, this is 5.4 or actually 5,400 millimeter. So if you click on this one like this and you go to the scale option and you might click on this point. So as you can tell, it's actually, it is 2.2 .2 meter, which is 2,200 and I need it to be actually Five five thousand four hundred. So I can just you know uh, uh move my cursor or even I can type it. Okay, in, in both cases, you know both should be should be alright. And if I do like this, okay. So actually, I can control it. Okay, up or down. But actually, I think just again to make sure what I have done was correct. So this one, we need to take it to five yeah so it become actually bigger okay so you can actually see how it it, it went if you wanted to check that okay there's different ways but if you go to annotate and then go to the detail line you can start actually draw a line like this so actually you can tell that the line is actually around five thousand k okay, um 400 millimeter so now actually it is it is happening so what i need to do first is actually to uh, add the site for for this uh, for this plan so if i go to manage uh, or actually masking and site and you create from a sketch uh you might actually select you know the line option okay which is actually it's free you know for you because it gives you some freedom you know to actually to do the site so maybe we can go like this and click OK. Uh, once actually you create it, it become wide. So you might actually downstairs and go to the wire frame. 
But if you actually jump here upstairs to the default 3D view, so actually you will be able to see your uh, your mass, okay, or your, your mesh. So after that, okay, you need to start creating your your uh your models, okay, for the, for the buildings. So if we go to the architectural, okay, go to the wall, architecture wall, you might actually start doing like this. I'm just doing quickly, okay. So I'll just create like this. So once it's done, okay, you can actually see, you know, your your file. Uh, something is important, you know, to, I mean, to notice if I go here to the level one, you know, and let me just show you something. If you go actually to the to the view and go to the uh, tile view, uh, I will actually stop this one here. So actually, if you see guys here, like actually I made a mistake because this is actually should be the external, this should be the internal. So if that is actually the case, you know, with you, okay, when, when you do that one, when you click actually on the wall, you can just, you know, flip it. And whatever you do, you can actually see, okay, in the other drawing, because sometimes uh, it's, it's hard to tell when you are in the, in the 2D plan, but actually you can easily see that what's happening here. So for example, okay, if, if I select, if I select in this one, okay, like this one here, for example, see, I select this one. So if I click it, yeah, I can see like what's exactly happening. Uh, you know, so for example, still I have problem in this one. So I can, you know, click this one. So, so just, you know, just make sure you know that, uh, uh, when you actually add add your uh, your uh, your uh, 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 walls, okay, to check the external and actually the internal the internal part, okay. Again, uh, I will jump, you know, uh, I mean to this one, okay. We close this one here. You might actually, uh, uh, if you want, you can close it like this one. So uh, again, back here, okay. You might also. Uh, start thinking you know what other uh, parts you need to add so you can actually do uh, add the, the floors uh, floors uh, also in the same way actually how uh, you have done uh, the uh, the uh, the wall uh, maybe uh, like uh, in this video I will just focus on the on the actual building okay if you want to actually to go to the basement uh, maybe we can do this in other video but actually you need actually to use the the building pad okay for, for that one you see in case here something is happening is not correct okay i mean you will have that you know alliance actually because the site okay and uh, uh and both the the uh, slab okay on the same on the same level so that's why actually we are you know having this uh this uh this problem okay so sometimes okay you need you know before doing that to actually have the the building bad okay for that or sometimes uh, you know, you might actually decide, okay, to do the site later, okay, and, you know, delete this part, but I do prefer to use the building pad, okay, I mean, for doing, you know, that, so actually you can see the uh, uh, the actual the actual uh, uh, floor, slab floor, floor for this one. Uh, apart from this one, okay, also you might actually decide, okay, uh, to I mean, to do, I mean, to do the roofing. Uh, also, when when you have the question for the roofing, they ask you in what level actually you need to do the roofing because obviously the roofing should be in upper level. However, actually, if you made it and there is problem, okay, uh, still you you know you know like you can actually change the the elevation for the roofing. But let me just do it quickly and see actually how it looks. Uh, sometimes you might actually decide to uh you know like unattached you know the uh the the building drawing but see for example here it's a problem it should be like you know let me do this part and dash it so but always okay let's check what's happening there so actually we can tell that we have some some problem why actually this problem happening because you know some parts not attached and also i mean the wall should be all of them okay uh, linked with the same with the same level so if i uh, select all of them and actually uh, make it to the level one so all of them okay will be 
at the same level. Obviously, you know, you might actually decide to have different type of uh, uh, of uh, 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 roof. Okay, that's also that's also it's uh, it's up to you. Uh, so sometimes okay, when we do this kind of planning, we might actually start thinking uh, about uh, uh, even adding that the crane and crane locations okay like since we need you know sometimes you need to manage between different actually building so if you if you go to a website called bem object okay there actually you can find a lot of options and after that you can go to the insert and load uh family okay uh so i have this one here so actually if the version was old it will actually ask you to upgrade you know that the version so actually after that it can be implemented okay in your uh, in, in your project uh why sometimes this is this is good it might give you some indication okay about the size for the crane comparing to the other part okay of uh, of the uh, of the projects uh but again uh if you for example use different uh, different software or different version also that bim object it's really a good a good website uh, for that one uh, especially actually it's free and a lot of actually uh, supplier they have they have their product there so if you do like this so actually you can you know like uh, set the uh the uh, the crane okay and actually you can start understand you know the relation between the crane okay and other uh, and other buildings okay because as you can still like we have several buildings here so you might actually just decide okay the crane location should be here and you start you know having more understandable okay how the things actually are are happening again this is actually a quick you know one to move from there okay obviously you know the rest of the building will will be done and on the same on the same way uh one last thing uh i mean maybe you don't need i mean to do that the topography okay but let's say actually you're interested to, to do the topography and understand actually where the topography is. So actually from that one, then you need to start actually jump to the modify the sub element. Okay. For, uh, for the, uh, for the, uh, topography and start actually adding a points. Okay. And start adding the elevation for that one. So that will start actually give more, uh, like, uh, for example, if you start like, I will just do like some, uh, some, some point there here, for example, like like this one okay so start actually adding a point here point 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 so for example okay i'm, ju I'm just giving you an example for that one so if you back here to this one and when you click on this one, for example, I will make it um, like 2000, which is like two meters. As you can tell, that's how actually, I mean, the the the, the topography start actually changing. So actually, like if you wanted to create the contour, you can do it from that one. But maybe it's not necessarily, okay, but just, you know, you know, see, actually you can start understand what's happening here in the topography. Obviously, you know, the, the contours will not be part, I mean, inside the building, you know, because the building, it should be separated, but just, you know, sometimes if you want actually to understand how the contour can happen from that part, also you, you can actually apply this one. Uh, again, this is just a quick video, you know, how actually to do to do the things and, uh, and give you sometimes like an idea when you start thinking about the planning, but something also is nice when it comes to that, okay, that you can actually think about the scheduling, so if you actually go to the new schedule, uh, for example, jump to the, since we have the walls, so you might actually jump to the walls. Uh, you might actually add the area, uh, the cost, uh, the volume, uh, manufacturer, actually, if that's, you know, something you have already known, okay. And after that, uh, you would ask actually for grand total, uh make uh calculate total calculate total uh similar to the volume manufacturer is the name so there's no, nothing like that so actually you can have the schedule obviously you need to add the name for the ma ma manufacturer okay so for example w company 
So all, you know, all the same modes okay, will be the same. Uh, when it comes to the cost, you can actually add the information here. So actually it will do the, the you know, the, the calculation, or you might actually, again, jump here and go to the edit type for the wall and jump to the, see here actually, the manufacturer become actually the W company. You might actually jump here and put, you know, for example, 90, okay, and apply. So all similar, you know, walls will have the same, you know, will have the same price. So how about this actually make, if you make sense, okay? I mean, how to do that? And obviously also, if you finish this, uh, there is something called Autodesk Viewer. You can actually make this uh, rivet file or make it as an IFC file and upload it there, okay? And, and like have it as a QR. So anyone actually can open it, okay? Without even need to the, use the, the software. Um, hopefully this is helpful and making sense. And just one last, uh, one well, last thing, okay, if you need also to think like apart from the construction part, if you need to think about uh, the uh, uh, passive solar design, okay, you might actually also open, you know, the, the sun bath option. So you understand exactly, you know, how actually the sun bath and the natural daylighting. Uh, you might also think, okay, about, you know, I mean, understanding, you know, the, the shadow analysis, okay, for, for your project, okay, so understand where actually you have shadow. But something is important when it comes to this okay that when you do that make sure that you, you i mean to go to the manage and select okay the right uh the right location okay so because you know that would obviously will impact you know like where is you know the the sun the sun path okay and the sun direction sometimes okay you might actually go further okay for some analysis regarding the lighting, okay, and the solar panels, okay, location, because lighting is really good if you are actually need to, uh, like, um, analyze the natural day lighting and solar panels when it comes to the, actually, to the location for the solar panels and the analysis for that one. Obviously, you might actually also analyze, okay, the carbon, the carbon impact, okay, and give you some idea about the operation. Uh, obviously, it been, depends on the amount of the data, actually, that you have given here. So, as you can tell, okay, from the BDF, you can actually create this model, and that absolutely give you a huge, a huge uh, added value, okay, when it starts actually sharing that. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Okay, and let me know, okay, if you have any question.